I'm going to start with shadow and then okay. pencil next because if I do the pencil first, put shadow over the top of it, it's going to lose its depth. I think I'll start with the gold colour first, something a bit mid-toned. Look how much pigment is wow. in that, that's awesome. Just going to brush that across your whole lid and kind of out to the edges a little bit, but making sure that it's quite faded out towards the brow bone. Other side. Big fluffy brushes are the best to use for wide areas of apric application. Quick and simple to blend it smoothly. And I love using these bronzy colours on blue eyed girls because it really makes the blue pop. But these sort of tones are great for anyone. That looks amazing just how it is. So the big fluffy brush is good for getting right down on this lower lid area too and really fading it out to underneath. Use a little bit of this darker chocolatey colour. You can use this little applicator sponge actually if you want to get a bit more intensity. Mm -hmm. So I will use this angled area and get this close into the lash line. Creating a little contour and then I'm going to come back in and use a fluffy brush to blend that a little and sweeping it out a bit because we want to sort of elongate when we do a smoky. It's open for me. Mm -hmm. The secret of the smoky eye is blending. You cannot blend enough a smoky eye. It's going to take a little bit in under the outer corner of the lash here. This is using the darkest brown in this Infiniment Bronze Smoky Palette number 03. So now that we have sort of a base of shadow, we're going to go in and make the real depth and the real smokiness happen with the Infallible Gel Pencil. So these pencils are amazing, the Infallible Gels. It's really waxy, creamy, but um, does not move. I'm going to rim the whole inner part of your eye, so the wet line. Okay. So just look up for me. The best thing about it is it will not, it will not move. Now I'm going to go in and blend it really quickly because of the fact that um, it is such a strong, deep colour that does stay put so well, being a gel. So you need a little, quite fine, smaller brush to get right in there into the lash line. Don't forget to get into this little inner corner. That's the spot that really makes the eye pop, yeah. But that's the bit that kind of defines that inner corner really beautifully. So I'm going to smoke this out a little more. I'm going to blend that pencil a little now before it completely dries. I'm just going to take it under those lower lashes just to give this extra strength. I love this sort of smoky rock and roll eye. There's a million different ways to apply mascara. I think it's whatever suits you and whatever feels more comfortable. So I think smoky eye, you can really go to town with mascara. You can do as many coats as you want. So I'm going to just smoke out this lash line a little bit more with the bronzy colour, and bring it down a bit. How do you know how far down to bring the product? It depends on how intense you want the eye to look really. If you like a cleaner look, you can keep it really close up to the lash line. Yep. But I always like a smoky eye to be quite faded out and quite full on, like brought right down onto the lower lid. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna brush them up first with the little brush that comes with the Unbeliever brow. Now this is pretty amazing because it lasts for up to two days. Does it smudge? It's smudge proof, sweat proof, transfer proof, <laughs> waterproof. Wear it to the gym. You can wear it anywhere. Well, I use the sponge tip first to dab it on. So I'm just going to put a little bit into this area. Now this little angled, flat, quite stiff brush <laughs> is perfect for getting this product right into the skin. So we need to get it into the skin for it to stick and stay for the the two days. Now if you want to control the amount you're going to put on, you might want, not want to dab this straight onto your skin, you can put the brush yeah. onto the tip applicator. Yeah, I'd probably feel more confident. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I've used a tiny dab and it is enough to fill in that whole outer area. I love this brush because you can create a really nice, sharp, tapered edge. It could be my favourite little brow brush actually. And then using the side, we're just going to brush your brows up into that product. So I'm going to finish with a nice neutral coloured lip yeah. to let your eyes pop. Super lightweight gel formula means that it's two times lighter than a lipstick. Nice little sponge tip applicator and it's quite pointy so you can get that right into that cupid's bow area quite easily. It's really lightweight. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels really... Yeah, can you it's feel hydrating. It? Yeah. it doesn't feel drying. 